Alright, good morning and welcome back. Another Saturday morning old school runescape. I'm trying to think of what we left off on last time. I know that did a few quests. I remember being stuck on Goblin Slayer and having to unintentionally train combat, which wasn't a bad thing. It just took more time than what I wanted. And we did find where to get a pickaxe. So now I have steel. And we're going to be able to be a lot more self sufficient. And we can only be self sufficient, but. Yeah, we are ready to go. So, one thing you might notice is that I did get my green screen, so now I can have just me. And then my arm disappears if I go too far out. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like it right there in the corner. But I also don't want to just be floating. Let me see what that looks like. Maybe sitting on top of the chat box. Let's see. It's a little weird. I don't know. This is something we got to play around with. Uh, Cause yeah, my ADHD. My ADHD, my OCD. I want it to be in the same place every time. I don't want to have to constantly move it from game to game, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hmm, we'll go down to the corner. Alright, you'll just have to live with it. Not like we're paying attention to the chat box anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see... I don't know if I'm gonna do any more quests. I think today I'm just gonna focus on trying to get better armor. I should probably mine while I'm down here. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah, other new things this week. Um, inching closer to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Which means that full monetization, which is what I want to reach eventually, but... I applied for, there's like a, a first level one on YouTube when you hit 500. I applied for that and they denied it because I post mostly gameplay like walkthroughs and edited down movie versions and so the way that they explained it was it's not original enough or it looks like it's been copied from other channels so they denied it and I'm like okay I'm pretty sure a lot of channels are doing this and I know for a fact that they're monetized so they let you appeal it by making a video explaining why your stuff is unique I know for a fact that my channel is well the gameplay videos I put the walkthroughs I timestamp like the different objectives or missions or whatever it is I've not seen that anytime I have to look up a walkthrough I have to scroll through a video with no timestamps until I find the part that I'm at so that's one thing that I do I at least put in the effort um, a lot of game channels don't edit out like if they're messing around with their skills or going through an inventory screen or I've seen gameplay where they just pause for like seven or eight minutes and then get go back to it and they don't even edit it out so literally they're just recording themselves play and then just posting it whereas I will edit out any like dead time or anything that is irrelevant to like actually completing part of the game um, just thinking off the top of my head the cyberpunk ones that I just did uh, there's a lot of either fast traveling or driving around and there's no point in having that 
if you're just showing a walkthrough of like a certain mission so I get rid of all that stuff you don't have to watch somebody go from one side of the map to the other and spend 10 minutes waiting for the part of the mission that you're looking for so I mean it's just little stuff like that that I don't see how that's not editing and making it somewhat original I don't know I get the idea behind you know you're just posting gameplay but I feel like most of YouTube or at least what brought me to YouTube was looking up walkthroughs or seeing gameplay for games I didn't have uh, games I didn't feel like playing or didn't want to buy but I still wanted to know the story I would look up the people who made their movie versions so I don't I don't know that's a weird one so I'm gonna try to appeal that I also do a ton of stream videos and I've done a few reviews basically I guess you'd call them reviews but like it's not just me posting gameplay with no commentary nothing in between I'm like part of it says like uh needs to have some kind of educational value and it's like uh, I'm pretty sure that that would fall under that people are looking them up to see what to do in a game or see what to do in a part so I don't know it's just some automated thing that you have to appeal and then maybe somebody real will look at it and say oh okay yeah it's not just repurposed stuff I keep doing my like old old password So yeah, I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I'm like, really? You guys are really going to do this? Maybe I should take off all the stuff while I'm doing this too. So yeah, I'm curious. I'm gonna do a little bit of research before I start making this video because I want to see, okay, exactly how many gaming channels seem like they're monetized. It's hard because they throw ads on everything. I used to think that if your channel's not monetized that you don't have any ads on your channel. But they profit off of people that they don't feel like giving money to, so. Because my channel is not monetized yet, and... Uh, I tried showing friends, oh wait, I already did this, I meant I want to go smithing. I tried showing videos to people, like my friend, I went on their YouTube to try to look up my video, and it played an ad, and I was like, what, why, why is it playing an ad right now, like I'm not monetized, so even though you can't get monetized yet you can they can still profit off of people watching your stuff and like one of my Hogwarts like well, yeah Hogwarts legacy has like 70 something thousand views so I'm like that's not fair <laughs> like you can you can just profit off of people but not share that I don't know and then tell me that I can't get monetized because it doesn't fall under their guidelines. I don't know. That's crazy to me. I'm not about to do commentary or edit text over every video that I do from now on. It already takes enough time. And I don't need all that. <laughs> That's going to take forever. I wonder what happens if I smith one. Should be about 12 or 13. Okay. Nice. Ooh, I want a bronze kite. I think I'll make... Eh. I kind of want knives. But I kind of want the arrowheads, too. Let's do that so I can get fletching up. 
Well, let's make like a whole set of bronze knight. Eh, I'm gonna be able to find them. I'll just have some bronze knives for now. I'll just sell them. But yeah, that's... That's what's going on with me. I gotta... Prove that, yeah, I put in hours of work editing videos to make them more watchable. Even like the movie versions that I do, you know, you're taking 28 hours of gameplay, shortening shortening it down to like seven, eight hours, where most people just take all of the gameplay videos they do for a game, put it all together as one long video. And then you have like some 20 something hour video. So yeah, that, that's fun. I think just showing my, the stream highlight videos, that they'll be like, okay. It's not just all one thing. I just don't get how that works. Guess I'm about to find out. I would really hate that if I spent the last two years trying to do all this just to find out like, oh, it's it's not like that. <laughs> so anyway, back to RuneScape. Um, I think I need to get to level 15 or 18. So that's my goal. Once I can get a full set of bronze, I want to start fishing, get my fishing and cooking up, and do wood cutting in between, uh, and fire making. And then we'll start killing stuff to actually get iron, steel. No, 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 no. Yeah, they just recently added partner slayer back which I don't know if that works for Iron Man I'm... and I forgot what the different tiers were to Iron Man I know I went with the middle one I wasn't gonna do like the or did I go for the the last one and it's like, if you die, then it goes down. I don't remember. Oh, no. The last one was like, you can't even bank. I'm not doing that. That would be so crazy. I don't even know how you would do it. I mean, slowly and painfully, but, like, that's too much. It's already going to be hard enough not being able to just pick up other people's worthless drops. I could have had, like, armor by now. Something decent. I wonder... <laughs> How long I'll keep up with this, but yeah, because I'll have to buy membership at some point. I still have like six months left. This isn't bad, but if I'm only playing once a week, I wish they would just make it to where you know you only use the days that you're playing.
For all the games I want to play, I just don't have time. And I will burn myself out on RuneScape. What is that? I've never seen that before. Alright, we can just hold off on that. Um, while I'm here, I want to sell... Uh, we'll hang on to the gold bar. Hang on to the chef's hat. We're gonna sell these helmets. So one of you. Keep the leather. Keep that. We'll sell one of you. Probably won't get nothing. You one of you. All of you. Um shield. And we'll just sell these two. Um yeah, that should be good. It's like all these bones and stuff, like I can just sit and get prayer up. But I wanted to do it this way. I wanted I wanted it to be a challenge. And I didn't want to have to rely on other people. Is that a good chunk of change? Aw. You couldn't even give me one coin for those? You're just like, here, take it. Have some bronze knives. Oh yeah, I spent all my gold on that pickaxe. This thing better be worth it. I guess I can get rid of that other one. That's probably not going to give me anything, so I'm just going to... Yeah. So long. Did your job, but now... Now it's got to... Get real. I think in regular RuneScape I've only used the multi cannon like once. I always saw people training with them. And I was like, oh I can't wait. It was just always too expensive. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with the cannonballs, I'm not gonna be able to take time out to make them or buy them. And then eventually I got to the point where I could and I I remember getting it and being like, This thing sucks. This is not worth I was so disappointed when I first used one, and I couldn't believe that I had, like, wanted it for so long. I want my dragon longsword back. Can't wait to see that special again, that's gonna be a cool day. <laughs> I may have to get to, what, level 60 in my stats? Oh, it's so far away. It's just so slow going right now. I can't wait till it picks up pace, but then I still only have... I'm only giving myself two hours. I don't know, maybe I'll do like a... a Saturday all-day stream. We'll do a 24-hour, like... <laughs> 12.01 Saturday morning one day until 11.59. <laughs> I wonder if I could pull off 24 hours. I mean, I know I can. I'm, I probably did back in the day. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a RuneScape day? Is there like a... A day when RuneScape was made? We can do it on that day. 
As long as it doesn't, well, it wouldn't fall on a Saturday, but the week of, the week before. <coughs> I don't know, I'll have to look into that. Just justifying reasons to play more than the two hours that I do each week. So far though, this this is episode four, so that's a month now. I'm actually surprised that I'm keeping up with it and not like having to miss a Saturday yet. So far it's landed on Saturdays where I'm not busy. And that's pretty crazy. I figured at least by now I would have already had to have skipped one and then I just talked myself into like I shouldn't even be doing this I'm not gonna have the time for it I'm gonna have to miss so many Saturdays oh that one dude no one's mining iron right now this would be perfect I wonder no well I need bronze for the stuff I want to make Pretty sure I can mine iron. I don't think I could smith iron though. Oh, at 15, so yeah, I'm pretty close. Maybe. Oh, it's already so much faster. gonna take a lot of iron I want to have enough bronze to at least get to 18 or at least enough bronze bars that I can make what I need to make which that's not a lot maybe I'll throw in some iron there too Can't wait to play Star Wars Outlaws. I thought I had missed my chance at playing that game. I saw, I think, what was it? The uh, Bounty Hunters. They remastered like some Star Wars Bounty Hunter game and I thought that that was Outlaws. So I thought that I had missed my chance to be on that when it released. And I was so upset, but As far as I know, was it EA Games? I forget whoever that goes through. I'm pretty sure it's EA. Um, or was it Ubisoft? I don't remember now. I think it was Ubisoft. I think, yeah, because I got the subscription to that because you can just pay for the month of subscription and you can play it think a few days early but you don't have to buy it so that's nice and I'm hoping that that is the case I'll be so upset if that game when it's supposed to be playable that they're like oh you need to buy it too because I bought that subscription solely on the basis that I'd be able to play right away and not have to pay for the game because I don't plan on playing the game long term not unless it's like really fun I always keep my expectations low especially for bigger titles like just in the past couple of years where I've been trying all these things the indie like unknown titles have been by far the better games than stuff that's like well known and coming from big companies so I don't have hopes for that game but it looks cool, so 
I'd like to be able to play it without having to spend 60 bucks. And like that's not through Steam, so you wouldn't be able to return it if it turns out to be a crap game, so. Um, I'm glad that they're offering that, and I hope that it's legit, because if that was like, if there's somewhere in the fine print that says that that subscription allows you to buy it early, I'm, I'm going to lose it. I'll just have to miss out on that one. There's a lot of games coming out in the next few months. I know Stalker is coming out with another game. I loved what Shadow of Chernobyl. That was like the first kind of open world apocalyptic game that I played and I was enthralled. I loved that game. I thought it was so cool. I kind of messed it up though because I went and killed this entire camp where there was like missions later. They had a the game was really weird how you can just kill important people and yeah you could just you could easily break that game by not playing the way that they wanted you to play it or at least the version that was out when I was able to play it I, yeah I remember just sniping all of these people in this camp and then coming to find out later that you had to go there later for a mission and the guy that I need to talk to is dead so I was stuck I had to restart and kind of just take my time and make sure I was playing it right I forgot what the the second one there was Call of Pripyat that one was pretty cool there was another one in between Shadow Chernobyl. It was the second Stalker game. Pretty sure Call of Pripyat was the third. But that one was cool. That one they kind of fixed it because when you went in the camps, like, you weren't able to use your weapons. So there was no accidentally killing important people. But yeah, I love that franchise, so I'm excited for that. That's what I'm going to pay for outright. Hopefully that's not terrible. I mean, they've had enough time now to make that excellent, so we'll see. Um, Dragon Age is coming out with a new game. I think it was on... I think I was on Xbox at the time. And I had, like, their Game Pass or whatever, and I played the first Dragon Age. I was just bored, and I didn't, you know, couldn't afford to buy new games, so I was looking through there. Uh, it was free, so gave it a try, and I, the first one, like, after you play the other two, it's like the first one was kind of bad, but I loved it. It was fantasy, it was what I was used to. I ended up making, like, a, a lineage throughout the games. I made up my own story where, like, the character in the first, like, their descendants were the ones that were in the second and the third. I made them all kind of look similar, but I played as the... I think I played as a mage in the first one. And then the second one was so fast-paced, I played as a warrior. And then I don't remember what I played. I think a warrior again in the third. Inquisition was great. So I can only imagine what this one's going to be like. And it's amazing how different those games were. The first one was very slow in terms of like combat pace and everything and then it feels like in the second one they went the complete opposite. It felt so fast. And then the third one was like a good mix of both so I think they were just kind of tweaking it. I'm pretty sure this new one will be like that but I mean that, that was a surprise that they were making a new one of those because it didn't seem like they needed to, and it had been so long. I forgot when Inquisition came out, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm eager to see what Veilguard is like. There's, there's a few others, too. A lot of... I kind of have, like, nothing to play right now because I'm holding off on so many games that I want to play during, like, September, October. I think 
throughout September and October, I'm going to play strictly horror games. So I have, I have a bunch of, like, online and story games lined up, and right now I'm, like, I'm, I had Fallen Order. I bought that when it was on sale, because I'd played Jedi Survivor, Star Wars Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order, whatever. Um, I played Jedi Survivor first, because that was new. Um, didn't even know about Fallen Order. I just watched Shameless, and <laughs> when I saw that guy, I'm like, oh shit, he's the main character for this? That's cool. So I got Jedi Survivor, and then found out when I was playing, you know, once you start the game, then you see that it's a continuation. Um, but I played that first just because it was new at the time. Uh, Bought the other one when it was on sale because I figured I'd go back and play it eventually. Now I finally am. And I'm actually surprised that Fallen Order, at least the beginning, was a better start than Survivor was to me. And I don't know, I'm liking the atmosphere and the graphics and everything a little bit better than Survivor. I think I played Survivor on PS5, maybe that's why I'm doing this on PC. So. I can just play with slightly better graphics, but I was I was amazed at how close the games were in terms of like graphics and playstyle and everything. I figured Fallen Order was made like so long before that it would feel different and look different. I wouldn't even know that there was any gap in between. So, I'm I'm happy about that. And it's really just a fill. I mean, I'm interested in the story in that, and might as well since I already played the other one, but... Right now, for the next few weeks, I'm just filling gaps. Playing whatever I can find. But, no real direction. Because everything that's coming out is, like, a horror game, and all the things that I have backed up are horror games. So, that's gonna be fun. Horror games is like my bread and butter, I would say. That's that's what I like to play for the most part. And RPGs. I like stuff like this or Dragon Age. Shooters are... It's not that I don't like them, but they're not like the first thing I go for. I mean, I guess horror games are mostly shooters, but I mean like Call of Duty style. I don't care so much for that. I'll play it. Usually I enjoyed it. I enjoyed... I forgot what one it was. If it was Battlefield or Call of Duty, but... I remember playing one during COVID and I was actually surprised at how good it was. But... Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I like. I grew up... I think the first like, real game that I've ever played was Doom on an old, old computer. And we had cheats. Like, I was probably five. But when you have God Mode on, you can just keep giving yourself ammo. It was pretty easy. I just run around and kill things. But I think that inspired, like, my love for horror games and gaming in general. can't think of what else I played besides that. I mean, there was, like, what they had originally, like, my parents had really originally bought for us would be, like, uh, Math Blaster. I'm trying to think of what a, the, the school, like, the jump start, I think. I remember all those, but, yeah. I'm pretty sure that came after Doom. Pretty sure Doom was on a floppy disk. I, I it wasn't a CD. I remember putting in a floppy disk to play that, and yeah, that's crazy to think now. All those jump starts were on. Is it jump start? I'm trying to think if that's even right, but it sounds right. So 
Gotta start getting some iron. Hopefully, 50 bars. That's probably not enough. I'm gonna start doing inventory of iron, inventory of copper and tin. Yeah, there was jump start. There was math. I'm pretty sure it was math blaster. And then doom. That's how I kind of evened out my childhood. And then came like Super Nintendo and then Super Mario Worlds. Uh, there was some random casino game that we had. Um, what else? And then when Christmas, my brother got a PlayStation. And I got a Nintendo. No, I got a PlayStation, and my brother got a Nintendo 64, and we ended up trading. Because all the games I wanted to play were on Nintendo 64. And then he liked Chrono Cross. So I would watch him play that. And then I would play, like, I don't know, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, 007, The World's Not Enough. And me and my friend would always have sleepovers and just play um, whatever multiplayer. Just team deathmatch or deathmatch, whatever play against AI and then when we get pissed we'd play against each other and that was fun I never really liked GoldenEye I played the world's not enough first which was like from what I played from GoldenEye world's not enough was like a thousand times better so I don't know when I see people that would like rave about gold I said I was gonna do iron too didn't I damn it when people talk about GoldenEye, they're like, Oh, this was like one of the best games ever. I'm, I can't get behind that. Nice. What could the tutors have for me? I don't know. I don't know if I'll go see them or not. But yeah, um... Diddy Kong Racing. That was a fun one. I could never beat it. I think for the most part I would just uh, go around the map just get the plane and go around the map and that was what was fun to me uh, one of the Gran Turismo's I wouldn't race it was too hard for me like cause at this time I'm like six seven years old I could play games but I couldn't beat games <laughs> I did beat the world's not enough though Conker's Bad Fur Day I never played. Legit. Somehow got cheats. Because I don't even think we had a computer then. I'm trying to figure out how. But we... If there was, like, a... Maybe a Game Informer. I don't know. All these old things that I'm talking about. Somehow we were able to unlock all of the levels. And yeah, I would just play through them like that, but it wasn't until, like, I think it was on X Xbox Game Pass also that I replayed Conker's Bed for a day all the way through for the first time. Yeah, the Gran Turismo, I, I couldn't do the races, so what I would do was just... I don't know if it was time trial or if it was just a single player race or well just just drive it would just be me not in a ra well doing the tracks but no other cars and then I would pretend that I was driving places <laughs> that was cool Pokemon Stadium obviously I mean, you had to have Pokemon Stadium back then. Going from Game Boy graphics to Pokemon Stadium was, like, so insane. Because you, you would watch Pokemon, you would see them, like, fully 3D, but then the only way you could play was Game Boy pixelated 2D. And then you finally get it the way that you imagine what it would look like. Uh, yeah, 
Pokemon Stadium was crazy. Pokemon Snap was cool. The weirdest concept for a game. I don't even know how it worked back then. I could see how people would want to play that now, but like, games mostly being like fighting and shooting back then. I don't know how somebody made a game where it's just taking pictures of Pokemon, but that's just how popular it was, I guess. That people were like, yeah, I can get behind this. It was cool. It was visually cool to me. I bet if I go back and look at it now, it's like, wow, this is awful. I remember that being really cool. Uh, what's up? Ooh, a maze? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't remember. Was there a trick to this? Scrolling all the way out. AC the Slayer is my alternate account. AC the Slayer was my original name that I created this account with. And then eventually switched over to Aster Slayer when I had the opportunity. Ooh. But what's funny is, this account got banned for botting, even though it was not played. Like, it, it has been tied to my original account, this account that I'm playing from when I could do that, and it was playable that entire time. But somehow it got banned for botting. So now, my original name is locked on a worthless account. I don't know what to do about that. I've tried appealing it. I'm like, hey, I uh, linked these accounts when I was supposed to. Um, there's no way it was botting. I don't see why someone, if they had access to that account, would not go from my main that has like 700 mil on it and like all the you know damn near 99 and everything no oh, that's that's a fucking that's a stretch <laughs> I'm 99 on a lot of things but it's a 20 year old account like why would you not if you could hack one or the other why would you go for I forget what level this one was Did it. Hey, that's not bad. Ooh, iron arrows. Tack potion. That's pretty good. Guess that was worth it. I like how they give you an option now, though. Like, you don't have to go if you don't want to. What was I saying? I already got lost. I'm just going to do another full inventory of this, and then a full inventory of iron, and then see where that puts me. I should probably do two of these. I feel like I'm going to need 100 bronze bars. And then whatever iron I can come up with. Oh yes. It's talking about Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium. That was cool. Being able to upload your Game Boy um, Pokemon to Pokemon Stadium, that was cool. And then, I think they had it. You can just auto-fight, so you can just sit there and watch it. That was fun. They did games really good back then. Is it Glover? Was that the one where you like the glove hand on the ball and you just roll around? It looks so dark and creepy. 
I never played that one. I don't even think I did a mission. I think I would just go around in that one too. I remember having Legend of Zelda, like the gold case, Nintendo 64 cartridge. But Ocarina of Time, I think it was. Never worked. From the day I bought it, never worked. I just remember having it, and it was, looked so cool. And, yeah, that was such a disappointment. I never got to see what that game was like until, like, much, much later. I just always had to wonder what that game was like. Super Smash Brothers. Amazing. It's like the simplest idea, but the, the like, story with it, with the master puppet hand, whatever. That was cool. Holy shit, my eyes are going crazy. I swear, the pair of the contacts I buy, I went with a cheaper brand. It was like 1 800 contacts, their brand, I'm guessing. But they're much cheaper. They're daily ones, and they suck. I've never had contacts bother my eyes so much, and it's like first thing in the morning. I just put them in right before the stream started. They just get so dry. I don't know, I've never had a problem with contacts. I'm going to have to switch back to my old brand because this is ridiculous. I think every stream I've done, I'm playing with my eyes, pulling on my... Usually, it just feels like there's an eyelash, like, poking me in the eye. I'm always like, do I not blink enough? Like, do I need to sit here with my eyes closed? So yeah, if you see me fucking with my eyes a lot, that's that's what it is. Trying to think of other Nintendo 64 games. I had a few in mind and then I keep like, I think right before my contacts started messing up, I had one of them. Yeah. Just leaves my brain. Um, so I keep thinking of them like, no, that was PlayStation. That was PlayStation 2. Remember when you can go to Blockbuster and just rent games? I wish I could think of the game that I was trying to get, but one game that I rented from Blockbuster that ended up being the wrong game was Legacy of Cain, uh, Blood Omen 2. I don't know, and I wish I knew what game I was trying to get, but I got Blood Omen 2 thinking it was that game when I started playing it I'm like oh this is definitely not that game and that ended up being one of my favorite games growing up I never played my friend ended up playing Soul Reaver and then we realized the games were connected which was like the coolest thing ever cause it's like how are these things separate but like the same I don't know and then I I don't even remember how, it must have been through Game Informer that I found out Defiance was being made. If you're not familiar, Legacy of Kane Defiance is when the two finally come together. And that, I just remember going online and seeing, um, this was before there was like YouTube or anything. Uh, you had to go onto their website and then you can watch like their promo video that they made for it and the the combat looked so insane and that game ended up being really fun I actually wasn't able to beat it so me and my friend both bought a copy and mine 
got scratched and it was I don't remember how close to the end of the game you were still playing as it was during a part where I was playing as Raziel and you had to unlock one of the uh, the reaver like things when you get one of the new ones and it would freeze at the same part every time and so I could never beat the game that, that was another one that I played later and beat but dang like and I seen that it's on Steam I think it's on Steam for like 6.99 so that's definitely gonna be one that I just buy and play for fun and then just discovering like rediscovering it again I looked up to see like if there was any other ones in the making because I don't see why they kind of just stopped there I mean it was a good place for it to end but they could have like remastered or redid some of the older ones I never played Blood Omen 1 um, and I never really played the Soul Reaver games but like I feel like those would be good ones to bring back they want to remaster and remake everything else like why not why not something like that um, that's back when vampires were cool and shit like before all this Twilight and whatever else it's like back when Blade was a thing <laughs> but yeah, I, I read that they were in the works for making another game, but then there wasn't enough, like, fan hype behind it. They didn't think that it was going to be worth making, so they just kind of killed that project. And that that's devastating, like, that there was going to be another game after Defiance that just never got made. So, I don't know. I feel like it has to happen eventually. There's not new things coming out that much anymore. Not unless you're like an indie developer, but hopefully, hopefully, somebody, some company picks that up and brings back that franchise. Even start from the beginning, start with Blood Omen 1 and Soul Reaver. I would love to see that revived. I would play the shit out of that if they brought that back. I'm gonna get to 100, and then I'm gonna do maybe two inventories of iron. And that should be enough. This is just gonna be a mining smithing stream today. And reliving in the past. Sly Cooper. I think that was PS2. That was a cool game. The Thievius Raccoonus. I feel like I can remember so many, like, older things than I can newer things. That game was fun. I remember the part where it's like the swamp and the snake, and you have to slide across the body and get across. I would just play that over and over. That one I'm pretty sure I'd beat. That would be a cool game to bring back. A lot of like the bigger franchises I never really played. Like I never played like uh, Spyro or Banjo Kazooie. Um, Star Fox. I don't even think I played Star Fox. I remember getting like the uh, the demos and you could get demos from either, I don't know if you, they would come with Game Informer or if they would just get mailed or if you would like get it as part of like when you bought a game you'd get a uh, disc with like I don't know, 10 demos for different games and I would just have fun playing the first Star Fox mission on that one. There's other games too. I don't know, like, they're definitely never led me to like buying any of those games. It was just like, oh, this is all like a disc full of short games I can play. Oh, another N64 game a Star Wars Pod Racer. There's this company right now making their own pod racing game that is like, it is so similar 
I mean, it's similar on purpose, like, the way it looks, the way it feels, um, the way you play. They added, you know, different things to it, but it is, it is like a remastered pod racer. And it, it was so fun. They have a demo out on Steam, it's called Death Grip. You can watch the video I put out, that'd be cool. Or just go try it for yourself, it is amazing. It is so inspiring, like, that we can bring back these old games that were fun. Pod, Star Wars Pod Racer was, like, a huge part of, like, what I played for a very long time. There was only one race. I remember it being, like, at the very bottom. There's, like, the final four. It wasn't part of, like, I think those were extras. I believe the one right before that that has like all of the different races like that was the end of the story but then there was like four extra races at the bottom I could be wrong I mean it's been so long but the second one for whatever reason the second one on that list it was the one that's up in the air if you have no idea what I'm talking about none of this makes any sense there was a race that was up in the clouds it's like these this floating track up in the clouds um, so a lot of opportunities to fall off. I mean, in a game, you hit anything too hard, you're going to blow up. But the way the track was built, there it wasn't just one track and you're racing. There would be parts where it splits into two levels. And if you stayed on the top level, even though it went in the same direction as the bottom level, for some reason, you were just so much faster. The computers wouldn't fall off, so they would just zoom, and it would be the difference of, like, half of a lap that they would put them ahead of you, and I could not, for the life of me, stay on this track, because there's no rails, you're just on this, like, thin track floating above the one below you, and then it's all encased in, like, this dome thing, so you would just hit a turn, fall down, and end up on the bottom. And then you would just watch everyone zoom past you. This was the only one like this. I don't... I don't understand why it was like that. Never... I think... I... We might have gotten third. Never... I don't think we ever beat it. I don't ever think we got first. We got first in every other one. Like, even as a kid got first in every other one but whatever reason not even the final track according to the game and it's, it was so hard it made no sense can't tell what I'm mining right now okay 10 I think it's a 98 one of them was one off so we'll just do four Wait, no. Mm, we'll do eight. I want to make sure I have a hundred. Yeah. Pod Racer was a cool game. I hope that that company... Apparently it's only two people making that Death Grip game. And, like, the demo was really good. Things that they added was, like, more combat in it. Like, I think you can shoot missiles and things like that. Uh, in Pod Racer, the only one that could really like attack was Sebulba. Had like these flame jets that you can shoot out the sides. But yeah, so this one you can play without combat too, which I liked. I was I didn't want to have to play if I was gonna have to worry about people shooting at me and having to do that back and stuff. So I was really happy that they made it where you can just play it like the old school. And they let you play like a few different maps, and it, it feels so much the same. I was excited. It was kind of hard. It's definitely like a controller game. You can't... I don't think racing games work that well on PC. I mean, at least on keyboard and mouse. Like, I can definitely just connect a controller, but I didn't, don't have one at the time. So, I don't know. Maybe that's something to look into down the line. But yeah, 
That, that's what I'm excited for. Chrono Cross would be a cool one. Even though I didn't really play it, I watched my brother beat it like several times. So I know the story almost fully. But I just remember the graphics and that being so crazy. The cutscenes, that would be a fun one to do. A new one would be cool. That's like when it's okay that they remake old stuff. They're just not remaking the right stuff. Just talking about old games, can't forget like Grand Theft Auto. I remember the original ones, like one and two. I never played three. First Grand Theft Auto I played myself was Vice City, but well, I guess the first one I bought for myself was Vice City. Which kudos to my mom. I don't know how. She must have really trusted me. I would not buy these. And, well, I mean, I guess it was a lot different then too, but still pretty bad. When my, when I have kids and they're grown enough, I'm gonna be very watchful for what they're doing. <laughs> kids today, they are so messed up from what they play and what they do. I would not. I could not. I can't believe that I turned out as normal as I did playing what I did. Cause that that would not happen today. <laughs> But I remember this kid down the street, I don't know if it was Super Nintendo, I forgot, I don't know what you played Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 on. It might have even be, been on like a disc version that had the 2, but it, it was so bad. The top down view was so bad, I'm sure it was cool for the time, but I couldn't get into it because by then I had already played tons of 3D games. It's like how I couldn't look at it and be entertained. It just looked like a, like an arcade game. I was never one to play like the school arcades. But yeah, then Vice City. Vice City and what was the other one? What was like their competition? Driver. I never played Driver. I played Driver 2. And I would just pretend that I lived in like I think it was in Chicago and I would just pretend that I lived at this one house and I memorized where that one house was and then I would just drive around and then come back and park at it I don't think I ever played the story for Driver 2 either ooh at 30 I can do coal Oh wait, no, I'm done with these. Guess I'll get one more. So used to doing copper and tin now that I don't even feel like going back. Forgot that I'm trying to do iron. I think I only need 12 more to get 50. Yeah, I grant the thought of kind of do the same thing. I think in every Grand Theft Auto game, everyone has that moment where you try to drive in traffic and follow the stoplights, but I feel like the game breaks when you try to do that because then cars just start crashing and then they um, start turning at the same time at a light and get stuck and then you just have to plow through it otherwise you're going to be sitting there forever. It's never going to correct itself. But just how many people have that, that instinct to try to play it like real life for a minute is pretty funny.
Like, why is that? Why is that our instinct? I don't know. Oh, I can't wait to start smithing. I really wanted to get to fishing and cooking today, too, so I really hope I'm able to make full bronze. And then if I'm able to do that, then I think next time I'm going to focus solely on combat and trying to get all that stuff up. Probably doing quests too. Because once I get combat up, then I can start killing things that actually give me better armor, better weapons, money, or things that I can sell. Then I can buy some of that stuff instead of having to make it. I can't wait till I get Mithril. Pretty sure I told this story already, but yeah, my first full set of Mithril. I was so excited. My friend came over and I had to show him. And then I thought that, oh, because I had Mithril, I'm so like strong now in the RuneScape. I uh, went to the wilderness and got killed like right at the beginning, like in level one or two. Tried fighting, I don't know, somebody, and it was right up here, like north of Varrock, right here. Died, like, pretty much instantly. And I, I <laughs> couldn't believe it. I had to go to Long John's to calm my nerves. I was so upset. It was the worst day of my life. We still talk about that. We still make jokes about that. It was just so funny. Bounce back. Do you know what I wonder if it's still a thing? Neopets. I wonder who else played Neopets growing up. Neopets was like... Web browser based game. Not like RuneScape at all. <laughs> it was, uh... I don't know what you would call it. They had Flash games. Because that's how you would earn money. And I was really good at one. You can only play them a few times a day. To earn money. I think you could probably play them again after that, but... Is Romeo, like, following me? It, yeah, it was basically like generic Pokemon, it's Neo Pets, so you get these pets, they were somewhere based on dogs or lizards or whatever, and you trained them and leveled them up and you fought them, and I never really got into that side because I didn't, it was... I can't even really remember. All I remember doing is getting as much money as I can because there was you could like sell them. There was like a, a marketplace in the game where you can buy pets that people put up for sale. Uh, there was like rare paints that you can buy to color your pet. Like your pet would be some random color when you first got it. And you could like generate new I can't remember I think you could generate and generate but like the rainbow color pets were like the rarest and I don't even know if this this could have just been our child brains putting that on there but I think that was because everything else was like a basic color um and then you can just some people would put up like really high level ones that were rainbow and like the rare kind of pet and I remember just always trying to get those uh, there was one that I almost got and showed my brother that I was about to buy it and he shut off the computer right before I could because he didn't want me to be better than him and it was such a shitty move.
Um, another cool thing that they had though, like what I spent the most time on was you can build a house in that game. Pretty much RuneScape style. The game wasn't 3D, it was all like, um, I don't know, you click through pages and then you'd see like a map and then you click somewhere on the map and it, it was all like, I don't know how to describe it, picture based. It was just pictures that you were looking at with parts of the picture you can click on. I'm sure there's a word for it. But, you know, not, not that high tech. Um, the house that you can make was just an overview of, like, squares. And you can build a type of room in each square. So, very much like RuneScape. Like, if the house... Uh, whatever. Which I never really thought of until now. I mean, at least in RuneScape you can, um... Like, actually go in it, but... Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that that's basically how it was. Kind of funny, too. Um, uh, but yeah. So you would spend all this time, you could decorate it, you can buy, like... Um, toilets, um, beds couches, you can just furnish it, and that's another thing you did with the money, so, yeah, this game that was basically about, like, training and fighting these pets, I was just spending all my time, like, designing a house. It's so weird. I mean, Sims was cool. I remember playing Sims all the time, too. I don't know which one. But I would spend hours just trying to make, like, the coolest looking house. Or Sim City. Sim City was amazing. I never, I couldn't understand, like, how all of that worked. What I would do is I would put taxes as high as they can. Everybody would leave, and then I would drop them really low. And then everyone would move back, and I would just cycle through that to build up my money. <laughs> it's kind of stupid how that would work. Yeah, you would just put yourself in crazy debt, raise taxes, pay for it all, and get some money out of it. Then people would start leaving, so then you just drop all the taxes and bring them all back. Just cycle through it. That was SimCity 3000. That one I would spend a lot of time on too. It made me think of Zoo Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon. Those ones were fun. Building roller coasters that lead to nowhere. Get a bunch of people on it and just send them flying. <laughs> and everybody did that too. We were all so morbid back then. Wish I could just pick up their multi can. I don't know what I'd do with it at this point, but. That's a cool looking sword. Oh, I can't wait. <sighs> Not excited for when I'm going to have to start looking up guides. Is that a person? I look like a guard. Yeah, I can make iron. Oh, that's so much EXP. I don't think I'm going to make it to 18. Ooh, I want a dragon med helm. I want room. I want all these things.
I forgot, yeah, I'm also going to be smithing too, so hopefully, hopefully I can get to 18 with enough to make a plate body and legs. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I have about 50 left, that's about 300 experience. Sheesh. Okay, at least I have more than that left. So... And then how much ever iron gives me. I feel like I'm gonna lose a lot more than half. I have 60 ores, I think. I'm probably gonna end up with 20 bars. I say it's a 50-50 chance, but it's more like... 30. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that would stop it. Oops, seven. I kind of want to work on agility just so that like my run, I don't know if agility effects run like that. I always believed it did. Just need boots of swiftness. I don't know, if, like I forgot to see if, does weight, yeah, there is weight. So. It's got to be playing a factor. Make energy potions. <laughs> the cards are so strong. It's crazy to think. It's like, when am I going to be able to kill a guard? Start fighting barbarians pretty soon. That's probably what I'll do if I'm fly fishing over there. Just get enough food. fight until, I mean, there's gotta be something in between, too. I'll figure it out. Definitely not hitting combat today. If I'm keeping it to two hours, I only have, like, about 40 minutes left. I'll definitely be doing smithing. But will I reach my goal? Almost there. I'll probably do one more of those and then start doing iron. I'll leave whatever's left over in case I don't have enough. Or in case I'm like right there, but just need a little bit more. Damn, level 100. Seems so far away. I wish I would see more people role playing like they're supposed to be in the server. Oh, that's not... Why did I think I needed 2,000 experience? I'm definitely gonna... I 
definitely gonna hit it then. It's a weird way to show the, like the your full experience up here instead of like what you need. That's what I thought it was. I thought I needed 2,000 experience to get to the next one. Bronze play legs. And then the skirts. I don't think they have the skirts anymore. I saw this. I'm getting a ton of like RuneScape related Instagram things on Instagram. And it was a picture of the the wizard over here where you can change your gender it was like the original place it said like runescape the or er, something like this is the original place where men became women that uh, was so funny the way i got my first santa hat in original runescape was i switched to a girl and some dude was looking for a runescape girlfriend and it just so happened to be me so I was this dude's RuneScape girlfriend for a day and he gave me a Santa hat and I turned that into a full set of Rune because at the time Santa hats were 200k. Oh, what? What? That's not fair. How much ever swordfish in the adamant helm? <laughs> I could use that. But yeah, full rune at the time was 210k. Santa hat was 200k. So, getting the Santa hat, to me it was worthless. I didn't care about a thing that served no function that I assumed that we would get for free again in the future. I was wrong. But to think that I just took the Santa hat and sold it for 200k back then is insane to me. I mean, party hats were only 5 to 10 million. But yeah, I would kill to have a Santa hat now. I played the Christmas event last year because I was hoping to get that black Santa hat. Nope. That was a good way to, like, sucker people into buying at least a month or so worth of membership. I'll probably do it again this year because I think they said they were going to bring it back this year too. So, yeah, look forward to those. I wonder if they do anything in Old School RuneScape. They might have a separate event on here too, which I'll do it. If I can get a Santa hat on here, to me it's the same. Yeah. Crazy. That's why it was so funny, because everyone, everyone was trying to be RuneScape girlfriends back then. That was the biggest hustle you can do in this game. You can either scam people, or, I mean, I guess that was a scam, but, yeah. Hilarious. I'm pretty sure they don't have that anymore. I hope they have it here, though. I hope that's still something you can do. I mean, it's gotta be. I'll check the map in a second. Alright, let's see, out of 28, how many am I going to get? Ooh, one. I'm trying to think if the, the experience is roughly the same. So that would be, what? Be about... 48? Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. As long as I end up with at least half. I wish they would make it instead of 50% for one, just put two in and get one bar each time. Like, make it exactly like 100%. You put in two, you get one. I don't know why iron... Why Iron is the only one that's like, yeah, you may or may not get one. And you can get... Isn't there like some... There's like the ring that you can make late. Well, I'll have to make it. Normally you would just buy that. That's pretty good. I got more. I got 15. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm definitely after I smith. So we're definitely getting bronze today. Oh, I want to speed up. No, I shouldn't run with the bars because that's going to kill my energy. I got to play it smart. What I never played fully was old, old school RuneScape. Like RuneScape 1. I hopped on it for like, I don't know, I had already been playing RuneScape 2 for months. And then I felt like seeing what the original was like, thinking it would it might be similar. I don't think I saw any, uh, you know, screenshots or anything. There wouldn't have been videos at that time. Um, YouTube wasn't a thing. And it was terrible. And I read, like, it's so, like, crazy hard. But, yeah, I couldn't get past that, how bad it looked. It's just crazy that that's where they started. This was, like, a thousand years ahead. It's crazy to see where that they're at now. Couldn't do it though. I wonder if Newgrounds is still a thing. There was E-Bombs World and Newgrounds. Newgrounds is way better of the two. That's where like you would go and play Flash games. I don't know what they have now. I'm sure that there's some knockoff version of it, but E-Bombs World was okay. That's also where like the first animated videos I don't know that was like YouTube back in the day that's where people made content and posted and I mean there was a game on Newgrounds called Alien Hominid that was just a flash game some dude made and it got picked up by PlayStation and made into a real game and I saw that I was like oh shit I wonder if that was like the first time like outside of a big company, somebody on their own produced something like that. Like, it was just like a random person that made something that became something. I mean, the site itself. But yeah, Newgrounds was a shit. That's where you would go. People actually had to put in work. You couldn't just record gameplay like this and talk over it. You actually had to, like, know how to animate and make stuff. It's crazy. Um, let's start with all of our iron. No, let's... Uh, I'm iffy. I should definitely have enough. I should definitely have enough. I say that and I'm really scared that I don't. Newgrounds, that's where uh, I first saw the Numa Numa guy. I don't know if it originated there. I thought that that started on E-Bomb's world, but I mean, who knows at this point. Uh, let's make one set of plate legs. Dang. I'm gonna have so many bronze arrows. That's gonna be insane. I'm gonna get an insane amount of uh, fletching and range experience. I should probably stop because I think I have like a thousand. So it's about 12 each. Let's do knives. Now I feel stupid for selling it, but. Okay, it's roughly the same. I'd rather just throw knives and be done with those quick. And that way I don't have to 
Fletch to be able to start ranging. Although I'm going to be able to pick up arrows like... I don't know. All this is kind of pointless. <laughs> Maybe I should just make plate legs. This is, I'm just gonna give myself something to start with. Yes! Ooh, and I can get an iron medium home. Alright, let's do one more plate legs. Let's do... How about some nails? Bronze wire. I don't know when I'm gonna need those things. I feel like I need to make all of it right now. Oh, it's so nice. I didn't think I was gonna get it within the first inventory. Now I feel dumb having so many. I think I'm gonna just make a plate body and an iron medium helm. And then I'm just gonna... I don't know if I should make a mace too. I want to get to fishing though. I wonder where I can net fish. If I can't do it by the barbarian. I know I can do fly fishing over there. I don't know if it's only fly fishing. Um, let's see, so I need five. And then let's do all the rest of the iron I have. That's exciting. Can't. Wait, I'm gonna have full bronze finally. Except I'm the helmet's worthless. Definitely gonna wear an iron. So it only took eight hours, but <laughs> I went from nothing to full bronze. It's crazy. But it's gonna it's gonna speed up. A little bit. Now that I'll be able to fight things and get more money and better drops, it'll go. It'll scale up pretty quick. When I can make an axe. Okay, um, let's do this first. Plate body. Oh, that's so beautiful. Iron bar, let's do one. We want one medium home. Nice. I want one axe. And then let's just make all other medium homes. Or. Why can I make bolts already? Let's just do medium homes. No, more than one. If I can make like a sword or something. I thought it said I can make a mace. I don't think I saw that up there. Iron short swords. Yes. Oh, I can make a mace. Let's make one mace sword. Let's make one mace in case it's a better option. I mean, I'm not going to end up needing that, but. Let's do. Let's make iron bolts too. Wait, what? Unfinished? I didn't know that. I wouldn't have done that. We're gonna finish with helmets. Alright. It's not bad. I wonder what's better. I mean, iron sword would have to be better than a bronze, right?
Okay. Running out of time. Running out of time. Come on. I want to fish. At least I have an axe now, too. Better axe. I want a net, I want a tinderbox, and my axe. I'm gonna sell the rest of this stuff. Um, hang on to that, we don't need that. We don't need that, we don't need. I'm gonna hang on to the bronze longsword in case it's not better. We don't need the chain body anymore. Um, I need to organize this too, this is driving me crazy. Don't need that. Okay. For right now, let's just see what I get with all this. actually paid me for my axe? That's crazy. You now I can get those for free, right? I'm not mining anymore. Um, I don't have a fishing rod, so I'm not even going to try. need my net. need my... What happened to my axe already? Am I blind? Did I sell my axe? No, I didn't sell it, right? I put it in here, didn't I? Tell me I didn't just sell it. I can't find it. I'm not wearing it, am I? No. I really just sold my axe. I don't want to buy it back. No, I can did I sell it? What did I do? I'm just gonna go make another one. I don't even know. Doesn't matter at this point. If I'm that blind that I couldn't see it, I don't know. I gotta organize my bank. I don't know how we did it back in the day where you couldn't, like, organize things. It wasn't until much later that they added like the tabs and you can separate things, which is like so great when they finally did that. Bam. X. Alright. Please let there be net fishing over here. This would be a good amount of time, like we can get a lot done. I'm so glad though. I hate that I didn't have time to like celebrate and put on my bronze with my iron. But you know, you just gotta keep moving. So many trees I can cut down. What up, y'all? Lure. 
Dang it. Well, I was prepared for that. At least I can teleport home. Alright, where is the closest fishing spot to me right here? Is that somewhere? There's a fishing tutor down there, so... Oh wait, there's some over here too. I would probably just fish until I could do bait or lure fishing. Where are the fishing spots right here, though? What? There's no banks over here. You tell me I have to get a fishing rod? I just want to level up my fishing, is that so much to ask? Might have to go all the way to Catherby because that's the only place I can think where it's like right by a bank if I really wanted to save everything. Oh, hey, look at that. Are there trees over here though? A tree I can't cut down. Get my fishing up. Oh, what am I gonna do? I think Catherby would be like the best. Spot. They got trees right there. They got a bank. But yeah, 15 minutes. I'd rather just get my fishing level up as high as I can. And we'll save that for another time. I don't think, is there trees that I can cut down? Okay, I can chop down the dead tree over here. At least I can do that. Some nice, peaceful fishing. This is what I've been waiting for this whole time. <laughs> I can just relax. <laughs> There. 
wonder if I'll be able to get a full inventory and be able to cook before I have to get off. <laughs> I don't remember it being so slow in the beginning, but this has got to be the only way, right? You can't um, fish anything else besides, yeah. One is big net. Thirty-five cage, forty. Okay. No equipment. So you can use a fishing rod. What about? Okay, starting at level five. We'll do bait. means I'm going to need to go to a bank, run over to Port Serum, buy the bait. Yoy. I'm trying to think at what level, what kind of food. Sardines might be okay. Shrimp might be okay. Remember back when we played RuneScape? Like, when we were first starting off, I was the one who would fish. I focused on fishing and cooking for training, so then my I would do that for my friends. I don't know what they would do. I don't know if my other friend would make runes. I can't remember. We, a couple of us had jobs, and then we would kind of make up the difference. Until eventually I was just playing by myself and had to do it all by myself. Or like, days that they couldn't, like, we, at first we would only play at the same time so that none of us can get stronger than the other. And then I would go behind everyone's back and plan my own for hours. And then come back like, hey, yeah, you'll catch up. They never caught up. Everyone fell off, and then I just kept going. It's probably my fault. I'll save room for two logs. That should be enough. I did not know that fishing was going to take this long. Come on, one more, one more, one more. One more, come on, one more. There we go. Alright, so hopefully I'm not getting attacked while I'm trying to do this. Dang. I don't remember fire making like taking so long. Like nice. It's 
gonna be quicker just to eat them all than drop them all. Yeah, I didn't think one fire would last that long. I hate, but I love having to click on the food and the fire. quicker to eat them than drop them. Not a bad day. We got what? I don't know how many mining levels. A lot of smithing levels. At least six. I think we're 13 when we started. A few cooking levels. A fire making and a wood cutting. It's not bad. Got full bronze now. We got iron helmet, iron sword. Next week's gonna be fun. I think my plan for next time is going to be fish up until I can bait and lure. So I don't think I'm going to get it in the next seven minutes. Then give myself like a decent food stash so that I can train for a while. We'll level up a little bit, maybe do a quest. I don't know. I think that's about... I don't know what quest I would want to do next. Um, Demon Slayer. Let's just go right for it. No, Dragon Slayer. What is Dragon Slayer? Is there a second Dragon Slayer? Oh, there is. What is Dragon Slayer 2? That must be an extra one that they added. So many. I don't know what these are. I wonder what the activity thing tells me. Getting a ghost speak amulet. Level 15. Ooh. We're almost at level 5. We might be able to get a fishing rod and some bait today. That would be nice. I think of where the closest bank from here, I think it would be Falador. Run to Falador and back to Port Serum. Unless I can have enough to... I don't know how much these are worth. High Alchemy. Uh... 3 GP. So maybe I can sell a bunch of fish. Let's 
try to get to level 5 and see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna end up playing past that time, I already know. I don't even think I'll get to level 5. Eh, maybe. It keeps going fast. don't like that they show the total experience up here. It should just be the remaining experience. That makes a lot more sense. I'm just afraid I'm not gonna have enough money. I feel like a fishing rod's gonna be like 50 to 100. <laughs> Even though they're probably like just laying on the ground somewhere. Probably search some containers and find one. The bait, that's what I wanna know. How much that's gonna cost. Just finish it out. Oh, I'd still have to cook these until I can cook sardines too. Dang it. Didn't think about that. Maybe I already can. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna fish these and be done with them. I'd rather be right there by banks. I'm gonna have to go a little over time. <laughs> Let's get one more and then I'm gonna go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's where I got the gloves that I'm wearing now. How about that? <clears throat> Wait, is there fishing spots over here too? I might have to come over here. I didn't know that. Okay, we're gonna end up coming back this way. This makes the most amount of sense. It's on fly fishing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why are you so aggressive? What'd I do to you? <laughs> How am I gonna fish right there? I don't have to deal with that. I'm gonna train on those guys. Teach them a lesson. Ah, uh, 
have to go a little over today. I have to. Just by a few minutes. Won't be like last week where it was like 10 minutes over. Sixteen? Why are you level sixteen? Why am I so weak? <laughs> nice. Five coins? Yes. Three hundred coins? Three coins? So Three hundred coins. What's in a bait pack? What's a oh, hundred set of bait? So yeah, that's the same. Fourteen. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll be back. I'm gonna get that white apron while I'm here. Oh, I wonder if they still have the. Yeah, they have to. I need to do a clue scroll so I can get the fedora with the feather in the hat. I'm just gonna get myself the drainer. Oh, he's not attacking me. That's cool. He's a good thief. He's not the highway man. I really want to do some agility too, just so I can take some shortcuts and. City and cape at 38. I guess, yeah, you could just buy it and wear it. And take the long way around. Just want to catch a little bit of fish. Oh, it's so cool. How am I going to get enough gold to support it, though? That's what's going to be hard. I might have to... sell whatever I make. <laughs> Eventually, like, I hate having to worry about the gold side of things right now. Nice. Three more I could level up. Probably a train over here in Dark Wizards too. This might be the spot. Why does it seem like it's going faster than net fishing though? Nice. What can I fish at level 6? Nothing. That's fine. Ah.
Y'all can mess with me now, but just wait. Okay, I seriously did just sell my wood cutting axe. Let me see. Yep. <laughs> Take the logs. Too. All right, and before I get off, let's let's put weapons in here. We'll put all things combat related in here. Don't want to have to look for anything anymore. Gold should be in the front here. Let's do. We can do runes in the next one. We'll do skilling. This one, so anything related to any kind of skill. And then we'll probably separate it at some point. Um, didn't need my tinder box. Just random. A lot of things are going to fall in that same category. I might have to change that up. That's random. That can go. It's cosmetic. Food. Cosmetic. That'll work. A little bit more organized. Will be a little bit easier to tell. I'm gonna put. Let's see. What should I put here? And then that'll be like the placeholder. Okay. All right. I think that's about it. Did good. No quests, but a lot of levels, a lot of progress. Now we got armor, and we're starting to get the means to be able to train once I can make my own food. We'll catch a bunch of fish, make, cook, have a stockpile, and then we'll start leveling up and see what quests we can do. I want to take stuff. I wish I could take stuff. But yeah, for now, that's about it. Thank you for watching another one, whether it's through Twitch or through YouTube. I appreciate your support. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to burp right there. And again, um, yeah. We'll continue doing this every week. We'll see how far we can get. And then, yeah, I'll try to find more stuff to talk about. And if you feel like playing, if you're doing old school RuneScape and you want to tag along, feel free to leave a message, leave a comment, hit me up. That'd be fun. I'd rather not just be talking to myself the whole time because I struggle with trying to remember everything. And, yeah, I'll get better, but for now... 
It is what it is, and we'll we'll make it work. My unoriginal game posted content where I'm adding nothing of value according to YouTube. It is what it is. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now. Till next time. Peace.